Hey guys, I'm Monet. Uh, if you're new here, welcome to my channel. If you're not, welcome back. So today I'm going to do um, a video on some magnetic lashes, specifically the Ardell magnetic lashes. These have just recently launched in Ulta. At least that's where I got them from. I know there's been a lot about magnetic lashes, but <clears throat> excuse me, still a little sick mostly online or from like other little brands, but Ardell is a big lash company, so I decided I would try these out, see how they work, see if it's worth all the hype. So these are just the full strip ones. These are the double 110s, so I believe their 110s are just the normal like natural lashes, so we're gonna see how these bad boys work out. If you wanna see about all that jazz, then so these will be the first magnetic lashes that I will have ever tried out. Um, I am a big lash person as far as other normal strip lashes with glue and whatnot, but we will see if these are any better because apparently they're supposed to be really easy to apply and kind of great for like a beginner. Right now I just have mascara on my lashes, so we'll see how these blend in together. I'll let you kind of... So as you can see, there's an upper lash and an under lash. So this is just a set of one pair of lashes considering they have magnets on them. And I guess you're supposed to put the upper, just lay it on top and then kind of just attach the bottom with the magnet. So we will see how that goes. I did just rip it a little bit. Off to a good start. There's just like a tiny lash at the end though, so we're good. So I'm just gonna start by I guess placing this top lash on my Real lash. Oh. So that's there again. Maybe the magnet will help, like. Oi. <laughs> um. This is cute. I mean, this obviously does not look very cute. Let me see. It's kind of hard because you like get the magnet on this side and then it like just comes in down on the other side. First of all, I think the lash is just too big. So I think I'm just gonna have to trim them down, which I normally do have to do with lashes. So we'll see if that makes sense. So as you can see, there's like little, like four little magnets. I think I'm just gonna cut in between the first and second one. Okay, so now I have like a little end and then like the fuller size. I have a small eye, so you probably won't have to cut off as much as me, but I also just got an idea. I think I'm gonna try this longer lash, but then I'm also gonna try to do, use that little end piece and not let it go to waste and kind of see what it looks like just to have a little accent lash on the end. But first, we're gonna start with this normal lash. Taking it again, let's try this again. That top part. Okay, I think I can tell this one's already gonna be better. Okay. It's stuck to my mirror because it's a magnet. Okay guys, this is Honestly, so far, maybe I need to like practice with it. It's so far not easier than a strip lash with glue. I think that's on. Hold on, I'm looking at the magnet mirror. That inner corner is just like not. Five hours later. Okay, so I guess looking straight on at myself, they're not terrible. This lash definitely is like bigger and fuller than my normal lash, but I don't love it. What do you guys think? Lash to lash. It just feels like, I don't know, it's not attaching very well, I guess. I'm going to put the other lash on and then we can kind of see what they look like on together. Six and a half hours later. Um, so I just messed with this other lash for a solid like five minutes. 
This is the best I got it. You can see it's like not on my lash all the way. It feels uncomfortable. It feels like it's gonna fall off. So for me, these were kind of bunk. I guess from far away they look okay, but in my opinion, strip lashes are much easier. That might be because I've done them a million times, but I just feel like they're easier to work with. These are a pain. Like you, it's hard to match up the lash with the other lash, like the magnet, and it's just not a fan. So I am gonna try one more thing before I throw these guys out. Um, I'm gonna try those little end pieces that I did cut off and see what they look like as a little accent lash. So. Hopefully that goes better. Okay, so we're gonna just try this little end tiny lash. I feel like this might be easier because then I just connect one magnet and not like a bunch of them. Let's see. I'm gonna throw this in my... So far that was a lot easier. Oh, nice, and it gave me just like a little cute little flare at the end of my lash. Um, I would say I'd probably have to use more volumizing mascara today. I just really like lengthening mascara. So to like blend those a little bit better, I probably need to throw mascara on the rest of my lashes a little bit more. If you have really teeny, teeny lashes, I don't know how well this would work. It, the end might just stick out really weird. But for me, just looking, I only have that accent lash on this one and it gives a nice little extra va-boom at the end, which I do like. And that was, that was super easy to apply. So hopefully that might be better. And this feels comfortable too. It doesn't feel like it's gonna fall right off. It's not poking me. <laughs> Let's do the other one. 12 seconds later. Oh, yep. See, much easier. Ooh. Okay, I like that. Especially with just the whole fresh face I've got going on, like it's not over the top, but it looks really natural on my lashes, which is pretty cool. So you guys back out. What do you guys think? I like it. I feel like it looks natural, just nice at the end. So I am glad I got some use out of these lashes. I can't say I like the full strip ones. Maybe if I cut these into a few different pieces and kind of applied them one at a time, but doing the whole thing just did not work for me. But I do like this little accent lash. I am gonna hang on to these. Uh, I know they do sell little accents too, they're a little bit longer, so maybe those would be nice as well. I should probably give those a try, but thanks for bearing with me. Um, maybe it's just me, maybe I'm just not able to apply those lashes. Have you guys had any luck with magnetic lashes? I know there's other brands. Tell me, tell me in the comments what you've done. Have you tried any? Did you like them? Or are you sticking with glue strip lashes? Like I probably will be besides these little accents. Let me know in the comments and thanks for watching.